But yeah, I think. Uh, but I no, I seriously do. I think that's what people are, are half half of the people, not everyone, but I think that's what a lot of people get addicted to. And you know, I had a friend in the Navy who didn't smoke, and he was going in the Navy. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm actually just going to pick up smoking because they give you smoking breaks." And it's it's that addiction to meditation. People want to meditate. People want to take a break. People want to relax. And they don't know. They can't find how to do that. Like, matter of fact, people don't even think about what meditation is. And, um, you know, I think... As much as a Buddhist obviously would disagree with the cigarette, the act of going outside for 15 minutes at work or five minutes at work a few times a day and doing one thing just simply to do it, to rest your mind, is an act of meditation. Is is one of the purest acts of meditation. Because in Zen, it, it said... You do something for the sake of doing it. Most people don't smoke because they're addicted to cigarettes. Most people smoke just to smoke a cigarette. They don't consider it an addiction until somebody goes, you're addicted. They just go, I do it because I do it. Like, that's how, that's how I think a lot of people think about it. They just don't state it that way. They don't go, I'm addicted to cigarettes. They say that because that's what society says to say. But they say, I smoke cigarettes because I smoke cigarettes. And so, it's only recently turned into this addiction thing because it's bad for you. People who have an addiction to cigarettes are the people who smoke more and more and more over the years until they have like a pack or two a day. You know, that's, that's an addiction because then you, an addiction is really defined by you do more and the more you do it, the less returns you get per unit of doing it. But people... Like you or me, we smoke like a cigarette or half a cigarette in a day. We'll smoke like one cigarette and we'll smoke it three times throughout the day and to finish it. We kind of do it so that it's almost a ritual. It's a way for us to concentrate on doing one thing to do one thing. I think that's what ceremony is for. Zen breaks ceremony down into its core. It breaks it down into what ceremony wants to be, which is simply that c- ceremonies are a response to how busy everyone in, everyone's lives are to, in today's life, what a ceremony is, not what it used to be. These The, the rituals, what we do, the weddings, all this stuff. And the weddings have become, have been lost to it, but, you know, a, a lot of things that we do, church, church is a great example. You sit down and you shut up and you watch somebody talk. And for a lot of people, that once a week thing is the only time they have in the week to just make everything stop. To just make life shut up and listen to a little bit of half-assed wisdom. Rather than just meditating and... and, um, and and, interpreting them for themselves. Yeah, or fi- and finding their own wisdom within themselves. Taking what happens throughout the day, taking their experience and finding their own wisdom. Smoking, in a lot of ways, is the church of the atheist. Because it's what starts meditation. You know, I didn't start meditating until after I started smoking a pipe and I understood what meditation could be. And it's like so simple. It's just like, I'm at like 15 minute break. I'm going to go outside and I'm just going to stop the world and then I'm going to smoke this cigarette. And when you're alone, it's just like, I'm going to smoke this cigarette and then that's what I'm doing. That is Zen. To do something for the sake of doing it and do that thing to its fullest. To, to make that experience the best you can. So smoking becomes, feels so much better. That's why it feels so much better to me than it would for somebody else. Not because I'm addicted. Not because really the, the nicotine, uh, any sort of nicotine addiction or anything. It's, it's that it helps me get in the habit of going, okay, I'm going to go outside 
And until the not for not for fifteen minutes, not for half an hour, not to will I feel feel like it. But I'm going to go outside to do one thing, which is to smoke this cigarette. And as soon as the cigarette's finished, I might have another, or I might go inside. And in that entire time, what you're doing is you're thinking and you're you're interacting with your environment in such a peaceful way that you become part of it. You and your cigarette. Your cigarette is that key to stopping the world. You know, so the addiction is to that that key to stop the world, not to not to nicotine. At least for somebody like you or me. Because we can, we have, we have the willpower to just ignore it. like a cigarette is a petty addiction. It's nothing. You could, we could just blow, shrug that off. It's not like we need it. But I see it for something more than what other people do, I think. I think subconsciously people want that meditation. They want that relaxation. 